Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that. Hey, everybody. We're going to take it nice and easy today because I'm <laughs> physically tired from planting. I planted lots of... I planted a tree today. I had to dig down like four feet and, and <laughs> I made a huge hole. <laughs> it was a lot of effort. I'm tired now. <laughs> Hey, Sonic, you're the first one. <laughs> Me. <laughs> so we're going to take it nice and easy because I'm tired. But we're going to open up some new furs and then we're going to cut the pattern off of this girl so we can actually start tracing that onto some fur. How you doing, Sonic? Um... Yeah, it's pretty bright in here. It's very bright in here. So the reason... <laughs> hey, Yodi, how you doing? <laughs> the reason I ordered some uh, furs in the first place lately was because I, I didn't have the right furs that I thought I did for Indigo's fursuit that I was working on. And so I ordered from a few different places. But of course, um, this is the, the these boxes that came aren't the ones that we need for Indigo's suit. So if those don't come by Thursday, we're going to do something else on Thursday because I'm trying to finish up Indigo's tail. So we got this big, big box in this one. Thankfully, Fell helped me carry it up the stairs because I'm weak. <laughs> Rapidly refreshing your page <laughs> so you can be first just like, <laughs> how you doing, Kamori? Weak! I feel weak all the time. Okay, so, um... Oh, yeah. Probably make sure that I don't show <laughs> show my address on camera. Alright. I got a brand new X-Acto blade from Ace Hardware. That in itself was a pretty funny story. Alright, so if you're cutting open a package about anything, of, of, of anything, just be careful not to, you know, cut too deep because you don't want to damage the product. So I'm just gonna really gently open this. There we go. Oh yeah, and I got my second camera. It came in the mail, but I forgot I gotta actually uh set up I gotta set up the uh like the drivers and get it all I gotta I gotta rearrange this whole main screen here so I can fit two cameras, like Maybe one down here and one up here. I don't know. It's confusing. So I forgot I have to actually add that into my stream. So <laughs> we've got two cameras now, but I got to set it up still. Hey, Rudder. <laughs> Rubber. <laughs> yup. That's, that's his name now. It's Rubber. Hey, Marco. Wow, we got a whole party here. That's fun. First Aid Supplies always packs these really nice. I haven't, um, mm, I've had a few problems. Every single fur place I've ordered from I've had a problem of some kind, but it's usually not too big of a deal. Usually I'm able to figure it out with, with, through, uh, through a few emails. But I guess if you order as much fur as I do, you're, you're bound to have some kind of mistake or something eventually all right so let's see what we got in here jeez this is just muffining out it really there's a lot of fur in here okay so they uh what's what's the best place to put this so this is how it this is how they come packaged usually they put it in a nice big uh wrapper here to keep it dry oh how did the eye painting go yeah yeah so, I spent so many hours on practice paints that I never even finished doing the eye paint itself. So, um, <laughs> I have some half-painted eyes I have to finish. I'm very excited to see how these, they turn out, though. There we go. Alright, so, usually right at the top they'll give you <laughs> one of these guys. I've got, I've ordered so much fur in the past that now as a joke, I just stick this on my swatches box and uh, it's kind of buried, but you can probably see it way up there. 
Every time I get one of these, I stick it in my swatches box. And it gets, it's, <laughs> so, it's, I don't know. That's just something dumb and funny I do. Figny. Figmac. Arby. The fig army is the Arby. <laughs> Should 3D print a whole ton of mini fig bees and make an army. <laughs> yeah, all right. And so usually the rest of the thing they put on the top, um, then they'll put on swatches. If you order a lot of swatches, sometimes they'll put it in a separate little bag. Um, but the, I guess today they just stuck it right flat on top. So what I ordered this time was they, uh, this is from fursuitsupplies.com, if, if you didn't see that. <laughs> um, they just got brand new furs in stock, and it's these four. And these are called Samu Samuoid? Sam, Samuoid? Samoyed? I have no idea. Anyways, they're super, super long. Like... I'd say three inches in length, which is a lot longer than the one or two that most furs come in. And this is brown bear, white, silver, and black. Cool. Oh, I'm not even in, it's not even in the camera. Oh, here we go. So these are really nice, please. If you have something that you want an area of really long hair, like, um, like, a hair tuft for the top of the head up here <laughs> and you want it really long or if you have a tail and you want really really long fur or if you have a character like a mammoth or something that just has lots of long fur so that's a good that's a, that's a good reason to have the sam samoid sam <laughs> that's how you say it sam samoid samoid i have no idea <laughs> It's a type of dog. Okay, I figured, but, uh, let's ask Google here. Let's, let's ask Google. How do I say this? S-A-M-O-Y-E-D. Uh, pronounce. Yeah, we're gonna do this right, guys. We're gonna do this. Samoyed. 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 Okay. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Samoyed. Weird. Cool. Samoyed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little behind. I wish I would have seen uh, your your little explanation first before I Googled it, Rudder. But thank you. I know. I'm, I'm going to make a mammoth one day. I love mammoths. I love elephants. <laughs> I want to have a mini Figby army also. So this one's cool because it's not just plain silver, but it's also got the white tips. And this is really very high quality. It looks like it looks like luxury fox fur, but it's um super soft too. So yeah, if you need some long fur and you like the way any of these looks, totally, definitely I would suggest ordering some of this because this is whew, high quality. I like it. Good job, fursuit supplies. <laughs> you can! Google is like Samoyed. <laughs> you just wait. I'm not going to be able to remember how to pronounce that later. Um, okay, so here's something else. Wow! Ta-da! <laughs> oh, the colors aren't very good. Let me open the window better. It might be a little too bright, but we'll see what we can do. <sighs> so I don't know if you knew this, but fursuit supplies. <laughs> Samoyed. Ugh! me. Wow, the lighting is really weird today. Sorry about that, guys. Not much I can do about it. So, Fursuit Supplies actually started doing their own masks, so um, I decided to order one and kind of do like a, a little test to see if it's any good, and so so far, I really like it. Um, you send them a picture of your your OC, and they'll they'll do their best to match it. So that's cute. The colors are a lot better um, in person right now than they are on the stream, according to the way I'm looking at it. So let's try this on. Mm, it's a little big. I'm going to have to make the straps a little shorter for sure. Eh. But if I hold it in place, fit. 
cute. <laughs> I am Figby. There we go. So yeah, the straps are definitely big. Cool. Very cool. I don't like the lighting in here right now. It's very orange. Very, very orange. Stupid sun. But that's very cool. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah, that's that's more realistic. Very cool. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. I They had black in the nostrils, and I asked if they could do it a different color, and they did, so that was very nice. They did a good job. But, uh, yeah, even the small size, which I ordered, is still pretty, pretty big here. I'm surprised how big it is. Mmm. Cool. Anyways, that's a lot of fun. I can't wait to wear that out. Um, yeah, right? I love it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can get some, uh, custom masks or something like that. I've seen lots of, uh... Lots of people on Etsy doing that lately, and I think they're very cool. So, that would be nice. <laughs> but as far as the fursuit supplies ones go, yeah, this one's pretty nice. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. Like, it's double layered, pretty thick. Very soft. Just a bit big, so you'd have to know how to uh, take in the strap a little bit if you order from them. I think that's my main takeaway on that. But other than that, very cool. Very cool. Oh, you'd have to actually design it. <laughs> yeah, people be like, furry. <laughs> That's actually how I found out that the guy in the game store near me was a furry because he he was wearing a mask of his character, and I was like, <laughs> basically, we're friends now. It's nice to have a uh, a furry friend in the area, and I never would have known if he wasn't wearing his furry mask. So very cool. I can't wait to go into the store when he's working and show him off, show off my mask. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Must run from the furry. That's so cool, Mary Mariko. Do you do you have any way to uh, put it on a base? Like, can you use somebody else's base, or do, is it like super complex where you have to design it on your own? Oh no. All right. Uh, Yodi, will you take care of that fool, please? <laughs> no spam in my chat. Just bring Figby. Yeah, seriously, just bring the entirety of Figby. Just the regular costume. Imagine putting the Figby mask on Figby. Uh, looks like Yodi might have stepped away for a second. I'll just take care of him myself. Block. Get away, you fool. There we go. Oh, Yodi did it. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Yodi. I didn't know if you stepped away for a moment. I appreciate it. All right, so let's get into the actual, um, the meat, the meat of this. Usually I order a lot more, uh, swatches, but I have basically all the swatches from fursuitsupplies.com. Cool. So I have lots of colors to replace ones that I've used. So this is just a basic gray. Wow, that is so soft. Fursuitsupplies.com, they, they struggle with having stock. Like, they have trouble keeping stock. But man, when you can order the furs from there, they are so nice. This is so, so soft. Oh, this is very nice. I'm, I think the, uh, the invoice must have been on the in the other box, which is just below. So I'll I'll tell you guys the actual name of each fur once I uh, get the invoice out. But this is a very soft, nice gray fur, very pretty. Cool. I I actually ran out of gray, so I that's why I've been ordering some replacement furs. Here we go. Here's a lime green. So this is technically Figby's color. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Yay. By the way, hi, Phil. Phil, I made macaroni in your kitchen, and the burner, I kind of accidentally spilled a ton of water on it. So it made, like, a really smelly, uh, 
burnt smell. <laughs> uh, essentially, I fried your burner. Thanks for letting me make mac in your kitchen. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Figby Green, Lime Green. Um, I'm probably gonna color edit this whole stream afterward because colors are really important when it comes to furs. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna color edit this stream when we're done. But for now, um, Figby Green. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hello, fellow person. <laughs> I like that, Kamari. Oh, hey, Sparky. You got a new drawing pad, a new phone, and a new sketchbook. Gee! Wow, that's like the artist's life right there. That is so fun. That is awesome. I love that. Like, that's so good to have if you're an artist. All of the things. How do you color edit a stream? So after you're done, um, let me start holding up these furs for you. I think this is highlighter yellow. It's very neon. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to cut a color edit this. So after you're done, whatever you have a video file, you're able to uh, bring it into Adobe Premiere or HitFilm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Wow. We got, we got a whole party of nice peoples today. You're able to bring it into your, uh, your video editing program of choice. And then there's all kinds of balance and, uh, color sliders you can use to try to get it as equal to normal as possible. So yeah, this is supposed to be neon yellow. It looks kind of regular. Eh. I'm kind of tempted to do some slight audio, no, I mean visual uh, color adjustments right now because this is not good. <laughs> um, let me, let me see what I can do. Let me open up. I think I Logitech capture, yeah. Wow, is my hair really doing that? Yikes. You work hard, you get all sweaty planting stuff all day, and then this happens. Logi. Thank you, Carly K. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Sparky, yeah, that's, that's the artist life. Um, yeah, Mariko, what I would do if I was you, if I were you, totally, I would find a base, just the closest base you can possibly find. If it's like a wolf or a fox, whatever you can, that's the closest. And then try to color on top of that. You can color it digitally or uh, print it out and color it with colored pencils. Whatever works the best for you. Um, that'll, that'll be a good way to start getting your design out of your head, at least. Um, let's see here. Oh, I get it. It's not good. <laughs> so, here's our problem. I wonder if I can share screens with you guys. Basically, hmm, very interesting. I hope I didn't break the camera when I dropped it on the ground. Oh, I don't like that freeze frame. Okay. Come back, camera. Come back to me. Uh. Oh, oh, we're frozen. Hey, friends. All right. We don't need a camera. Uh, great. Let's see which one is it. First stream webcam. Great, you guys get to see this, uh, magnificent face. I know, I look so good right now. <laughs> this is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to mess with anything. All right. There we go. Alright. I hope you guys are... Here we go, here we go. Okay, we got white balance. That's what I was trying to... Okay. We're good, guys. Can you see me moving yet, or are we, uh, kind of still jacked up?
Oh, we look super blue now. There we go. Hey, this might actually work. Hey, this this might actually work. We good? Great. <laughs> All right, thanks for sticking me with the Thanks for sticking with me there, guys. Um, let's see what did I miss? Oh, Scotch is here. Hey, Scotch. Uh I used to use Twitch Studio, and I still have it installed, actually, but right now I'm using Streamlabs OBS. So, yes, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, alright. Oh, good idea. Alright, first let's see how this looks. Alright, not perfect, but definitely better. This is supposed to be a uh, bright highlighter yellow. Let me see here. Whoa! When you have no idea what you're doing. I'm just gonna hold this up for a second here, guys. Blue. Oh, everything's dis disappearing. No, please! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I just want good colors, please. Alright, here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna suffer, and then I'm just gonna color edit this after. So if you're actually interested in the exact shade of colors these are, um, I'm gonna post this on YouTube right after, and I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why the camera is doing that. And I don't know why the internet is cutting out at the same time. Those are two separate problems. But yeah, here's, uh... Actually, that's a little bit better. It's a little bit better already. This is a uh, bright neon yellow. It's a uh, highlighter yellow. I think it's UV. Oh, sorry. I think it's UV reactive. So if you go under a black light, it's like whoa. Filters and should I keep trying, guys? I guess. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think I should keep trying to up to edit the color, or do you guys think I should just? Say screw it, I'll edit it after. Cause I'm fine with either, but I don't I don't wanna make you guys bored of waiting. Uh filters. Yeah. It's the filters that's <laughs> camera, please. See I could blame the camera, but it's actually just me being an idiot. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I see what you mean, Marco. Cool, we're going through all the filters now. Let's go dramatic. Cell shade. On. And are we back? We're back. Hey friends. This is this wouldn't be Clover Cat's stream without technical difficulties. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. All right, guys. So, um we're just gonna go through these first. Uh, Mariko was really smart, and uh, definitely I see how I can edit the camera colors, but I wish I would have done that before starting the stream. So what I'm gonna do is, after the stream, I'm gonna mess around with that and see what I can do. But for now, um, I'm gonna show off what I have. And I'm just gonna see if this is better with the window open or closed. bad both ways. Let's just leave the window closed. All right, so yes, this is UV re UV reactive. And the cool thing about uh, fursuit supplies is that they have a lot of versions of the same kind of fur. So the original version of this fur was one inch long and it was just highlighter, highlighter color fur. That was it. And um, this is the two inch variant, so it's longer. I don't know if you can tell that it looks, <laughs> oh, excuse me, a hiccup. <laughs> it looks long, and that's because it is long. It's two inch, very, very pretty fur. And um, it also comes in fox. So like F F O X fox fur, which is a different texture. So if you prefer fox texture, that's really helpful. Because if you, if you want different types of textures for your one fursuit or 
whatever your favorite fur is, it's very helpful that it comes in different kinds. Just, again, the main trouble with fursuit supplies is trying to get what you need in stock, because it's never in stock. So here's something I've been trying to get my hands on for a long time. <laughs> I think you mean faux. Yeah, the thing about fox fur, F-O-X versus faux, F-A-U-X. Fox. It seriously, it looks like you pronounce faux fur as fox. When I was, when I was little, and I used to watch, um, I loved Scooby-Doo. I still do. But there was a live action movie. I think there was two. And you would, there was a scene where they would go to this bad guy club called the faux ghost or something like that. And I always thought it was the fox. Like the fox ghost. Like, <laughs> Years later, I finally understand. It was that weird uh, live-action hybrid animation. I love that movie. That's actually a really good movie. The first one is not good. Uh, Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. That's a good movie. <laughs> good! Sweet! See, bad? I'm. That's cool. I'm glad you like Scooby-Doo also. I love that. Scooby-Doo is great. So I've been trying to get my hands on this for a long, long time. This is emerald green, so like Figby's hand paws right in the center, and also his feet paws, and a little bit on the tip of his tail. Um, this is very, very nice. Same same emerald green fur, except instead of one inch, two inch. So it'll look a lot better near the bottom of the feet paws. Huh! Here's my foot. Alright, so you have a foot, yeah? And I have the fur on the foot right about here, but... With it being short, it could look better if it was longer because basically the fur is already going to drag on the on the dirt, so I might as well have it look cooler and be longer. <laughs> um, also, it's uh, for for fur on the fur 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 for fur on the tail, the longer the better, in my opinion. <laughs> so I cannot wait to add this onto Figby here. I'm sorry the colors are not very good. I'm going to color edit this after. And maybe you can just quickly scrub through the YouTube video if, if you're interested in seeing how these colors actually are supposed to look. I wish I could <laughs> have an easier way to fix it now, but... <laughs> hey, Macy! Good to see ya! Oh, pff, you're fine. It wasn't you that was late. It was me. I started the stream way late. Hours late. So it wasn't your fault at all. Yeah, Yodi, you like Scooby-Doo also. Yeah, and Sparky. Wow, see, we all love Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is just good. Most of the time. There's some stuff that's not good. Like Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> Alright, so I don't remember the exact name of this. Um, if this was from Big Z Fabric, they would call this Peacock. But this, I would say, is just turquoise. This looks like just a regular, very, very pretty turquoise. Like Figby's blue spots. So pretty. I love this color. I love it so much. That's nice. Uh, great. I don't know where I'm going to put all these new furs, guys. I'm going to need to get some more bins or something. Me. <laughs> Me trying to move. I cleared out all my furs, and now I bought more. Now I'm going to have to find new bins, stuff them into new bins. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out, Mariko. It was nice chatting with you on the Discord today and just kind of hanging, hanging out with you here in the stream. So it's good seeing you. Hopefully we can keep catching up soon. Blah. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I got fur in my mouth. Oh, man. Macy, you got lots of homework, huh? <laughs> I am so sorry. That's cool, though. How, how did that go, Macy? You held an event in a server. Sweet. You should do events for my server. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bean is in the first movie of uh, Scooby-Doo. I don't remember if it... I don't remember if that first movie has a tagline or not, if, or if it's just Scooby-Doo. Hmm. Because I think this, I think Scooby-Doo 2, the tagline is Monsters Unleashed, but I don't know what the... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. 
if the first one is tagline. <laughs> you could if I wanted. You know, um, hold that thought. <laughs> okay. I need to see how many mods I have. Um, honestly, we have enough people. I was thinking that it would be excessive to have a ton of mods, but with not a lot of people, but now we're actually starting to get a pretty good group of people, so, um, I do need some more mods for, uh, for my Discord, so. Huh. Give me just a second. Are you already a mod here in, uh, my, my, uh, Twitch chat? Because you're here all the time, so I think you would be a pretty good, uh, pretty good mod here. Alright, so let's continue. Man, we're still in the first box. I need to hurry it up. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, ho, look at that. I'm not kidding. It's been a long time of me trying to get this fur. So this is Ivory Luxury Fox fur. Luxury Fox is just the, the best high quality fur you can possibly get. Is the highest quality. So the only trouble with that is that it only comes in mostly like gray, black, and white. And sometimes even then it's hard to find. So if I ever have any fursuits that have white or black, like Indigo's suit has a lot of just plain white and plain black, I'll use I'll use luxury fox fur rather than um regular luxury shag because why not? Might as well, right? It's a higher quality. It's much nicer. Unless they don't want me to for some reason. Um <laughs> oh the Pokemon shirt! Yeah yeah I'll show that off real quick. Look guys, I'm born to battle. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you uh, enjoy your food that you obtain. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I don't know where all these shirts come from, I swear. I just collect them. <laughs> but ivory, that's a good color. Um, I've been trying to get this one from Fursuit Supplies for a long time because sometimes it's different between Hull Fabrics and Fursuit Supplies and Big Z Fabrics. Sometimes you just get a different result. So this one's very nice. Um, in case you didn't know, the ivory isn't white. It's like an off-white. So it's slightly more cream color. So yeah. <laughs> um, very pleased to get this. Because these ivory, white, black, they go with basically every fursuit ever. And if I feel like making a pre-made, those are very good to have. Oh, thank you, Macy. I'm glad you love my shirts. Ah. I love my shirts, too. Oh, here we are. All right. So I was also really happy to get a hold of this. Basically, I was just happy that they had anything in stock. Because Fursuit Supplies and their stock, that's the main problem with them. I just, oh, they've got great stuff, but they just can't keep it in stock. So this is, um, baby pink, and this feels like two inch, two inch, uh, fur. <laughs> you know, I've never heard of that before. Is, is that, uh, for a console, or is that, like, a, a phone, a phone game? Because it sounds like, it sounds pretty entertaining just by the name. So this is very pretty. I really love the color of this. Given the choice, um, you should choose the length of the fur based on what you're going to use it for. And uh, if you don't know what you're going to use it for, I'll usually just get a two inch thick or two inch length of fur. Um, okay, so that's the first box here. Uh, all empty here. So let's break out the second bigger box. Ugh. All right, so if you're gonna use it for, if you're gonna use a specific fur and you wanna use it somewhere short, like the face, um, first see if they have that color in like beaver fur, which is already very, very short, or weasel, or what else do they call it? They have lots of names, seal. Sometimes they call it seal fur, but 
The only trouble with that is it doesn't usually exist unless it's black, white, or gray. <laughs> but you never know. Sometimes they do have cool colors in those short furs. And then if they don't exist in that, I would try I would try getting some regular fur like this, luxury shag, but one inch if you need it for a short area. Because the two inch is very nice, but if you intend to shave it, it ha it's more of it's more flat. It's more of a flat pile rather than puffy. So if you're shaving it, I would get one inch. Um, if you want it to be long, like for a tail or something, I would get two inch. But if you don't have a choice, oh wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Macy. I appreciate that. But if you don't, if you if you don't know which one to get, and you don't, if you're gonna need it for long areas and short areas, honestly, it doesn't matter too much. Just get two inch if you can. If not, it's not usually a big deal. Uh, that's just like high, very important. Like, I mean, that's only if you want incredibly important detail. Most people will be fine ordering just a one or a two inch, and they'll they'll make it work. So that's just me being overly cautious with detail. You're so sweet. Thanks, Macy. Bazobu. I still don't know how to say your name. Bazobu is a console game where you have to cook food while you sneeze. <laughs> Do you like sneezy? <laughs> Man, that's a struggle because I sneeze all the time when I'm just working on fursuits because there's just fur in the air. And <laughs> I feel like I would suffer if I was trying to play a game where you're cooking food. For the first time, I actually played Overcooked, and wow, I really like that game. Just don't play Overcooked with a, a group of people that can't uh, be chill, because it can be very stressful. So don't play it when you're tired, and don't play it with people who are very s easily stressed out. But uh, you can have a lot of fun with that game. I had no idea it would be that fun. I was playing Overcooked, too. I actually haven't played the first game yet. Uh, obviously, Overcooked won. But I think that was by Team 17, and they did a really good job with um, uh, Moving Out. That's I think that's one of their newer games. Moving Out is really good. I love that game. Just any kind of LAN party game where you sit on the couch with your friends is my favorite kind of game. Wow. See, here we go. I've got glue on my X-Acto blade, and it's not going to focus. Come on, camera. There we go. Yeah, I got glue on there. And my brand, my brand new blade, man. All right. So, uh, what I should have done, I have a specific pair of scissors that are non-stick, and they were made specifically for cutting through. Okay, focus, scissors. Come on now. There we go. They were made specifically for cutting through, like, duct tape, regular tape, opening up packages like this, and I cannot, I cannot recommend, recommend them enough. I've never had to clean these once, and I use them over and over and over on the stickiest of tapes. It's just amazing. I can't even believe it, how well it works. <laughs> Me talking about how I love scissors. I just, I love my scissors, okay? Alright, so I did put an order in for fursuit supplies, and one of the furs I wanted became out of stock before they could ship it to me, so I had them, I had them send me another yard of, uh, ivory luxury fox instead, because, um, they had to, either they were gonna completely refund me that whole yard, or, uh, or I could switch it with a different fur, so... I just switched it out because, you know, the more the more luxury fox, the better. So here we go. Um, uh, oh, there's the invoice. Cool. So they always have a, a twisty tie around this, but I just took it off. What? They sent me a second sticker. Oh, man, guys. Our sticker box up there is going to be 
So for suit supplies, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a picture of that later. All right, so here we've got our invoice. Wow, sweet, <laughs> thank you. How you doing? Raid, <laughs> very cool. I would love to raid more people, but I just, I never remember. <laughs> Because that's a fun thing to do. Very cool, though. Thank you. Awesome. We're doing fun stuff. Yes, so here is my whole invoice. Uh, can't show it to you because I'm afraid I'll accidentally show my address because I'm kind of stupid that way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, now at least I have the names. I can tell you the names of these furs I ordered. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Me being stupid. So here's the other, uh, the other yard of luxury fox that's ivory. Um, I was supposed to get, uh, it was like a bunny fur. It was like turk teal? I think it was a, a custom run of teal bunny fur. And bunny fur is like, bunny fur is the best. It's like, it's like one inch thick, usually, so it's like the same length as like a regular, uh, regular fur like this, except the pile underneath, it's so poofy that it's literally the most squishable thing. I love bunny fur. <laughs> so, if you ever see bunny fur, that is just so fun. I love it so much. Here we go. Wow. So this is two inch, um, navy blue fur. Very pretty. I had a plan for this one, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, navy blue is a very pretty color. And I can't wait to fix this in post-production. Because this is not doing... The color, the color is not doing this any favors, but it's very pretty navy. Alright. So even though I'm folding this and putting this in a pile up here... This pile managed to completely fall backwards, so I don't know why I'm bothering to even fold it right now. It's just going to fall back again. <laughs> Me making a mess. All right. Oh, yeah, here we are. I ordered some more peach. Let's see. So this looks like two inch. I got a lot of two inch fur, apparently. So this is peach. Just very, it's a very light... It's not, it's not bright like a baby pink. It's slightly more dull. But it's a very, very pretty color. Ta-da! Oh, I really like this color. <laughs> hey, Clover, I'm glad you got some commissions. Where did, where, where are you going to put all that money from your commissions? <laughs> Buys tons more furs. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense. Put it right back into the business. All right. Oh, boy. I say this. I'm saying this about every fur. Literally, I've been trying to get a hold of this fur for the longest time. So this. Hey, how you doing, Scalifro? I feel like that was a rare moment when I looked at the chat and right then you said hi. Because usually it's like five minutes before I notice somebody is here. So this is Sunshine Yellow. I've been trying to get a hold of this for a long, long, long time. So pretty. Very pretty. It's like a... It's not as orange as like Sunflower Yellow. And it's not nearly as orange as like a... A school bus. It's just very pure light yellow. Very Easter yellow. Pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, there's nowhere to put this. I'm just gonna dump it back here. I'm gonna have to fold them and rebrush them and put them away anyway, so I'm just gonna yeet them back over there. Oh, yo! Okay. Check this out, guys. This is... I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. It's so hard to get the furs you need sometimes. So this is Periwinkle. So I'm not sure exactly how it looks to you guys, because it's different on every screen, but this is a basically a mix between blue and purple and it's kind of lavender colored it's very 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 pretty wow i really love this 
this this would match with a lot of um, pastel colored fur suits. I think that would make it look really nice. Yeah, right. I'm glad, I'm glad you like it too, Macy. I think it's very pretty, very nice fur. I'm gonna have to fold these all. Oh, me not looking forward to folding. <laughs> Skelefro, I'm a bit unfaithful today. I'm watching two streams. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Watch out for pie throwers. <laughs> well, hey, Skelefro, how you doing? That's totally fine. Yay! Okay, here we go. See, I forgot I ordered half of these. <laughs> so this is... Um, I believe they call this electric purple. Hmm. Yes, electric purple. Luxury shag. So this is, it's not royal purple, but it's, uh, it's a lighter shade of purple. Just, when you picture purple, this is it. I can't think of any, anything that else is, that's this color. You don't see a lot of purple in the world, but it's not that royal deep purple that you get when you order regular purple. Electric purple is like, a complete shade lighter. It's very pretty, though. I say that about all of them. They're all pretty. Furs are pretty. Ugh. All right. We got a few left. A few left? Maybe just one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're down to our last fur. Oh, God. All right, so I ordered a few yards of this. I don't know if it's two or three yards, but... Um... This is, whew, what did they call this? Did they call this bunny shag or weasel, I think? Let me read this. Anyways, it's very, very bright red. It was a very, it was a custom run, so there's only so much of it to go around. So that's why I wanted to order it while I could, because this might be something I use in my friend uh, Keegan's suit. So I thought this would be very good to have. Um, so here's the backing. This one's very unique because it's not regular fur backing, it's knit. So the difference is, um, well this feels much more coarse to begin with. It stretches a lot more. Very different from your standard fur backing, which is this uh, more, more woven into like square shapes almost. Like the back of regular fur, you can see the lines going this way. Um, very helpful if you're trying to use it to cut a straight line. You can just kind of follow the, the backing. But yeah, the backing on this is knit. It's very different. But uh, as long as you're aware of that and you know how to work with it without it... Uh, you gotta be careful not to let it shred, but... Anyways, as long as you're aware of that, that's good. That's fine. So this is a very pretty fur. Um, so this has... I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get this in a good good way to hold this okay so it has kind of a a good pile underneath I'm trying to I'm trying to explain how it's yeah okay so by pile I mean it's got more fibers underneath that make it go puff out like this it's not like a, a very short pile completely flat fur it's got it's I mean it looks pretty poofy and I really like that about this fur but the problem is, BRB, okay, Macy, <laughs> the problem is here, um, just given the type of fur and the way it looks, the way it feels, I can tell that if I shaved this down more than a tiny bit, it would be a problem. So, um, I can shave it, but not very much at all. Otherwise, we might have a problem. You'd definitely be able to see the backing and, uh, you gotta be careful when you're brushing this kind of fur because the backing isn't as strong. But anyways, now that I've talked about this uh, knit back fur, let me read to you the names of these furs. This is Limited Availability, Brilliant Red Arctic Hair Fox. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, not, not fox. Foe. <laughs> okay. Brilliant Red Arctic Hair. That's what it's called. Cool. So nice. Brilliant Red. I would say it's Brilliant Red. Very pretty. And so after I open up all my furs, 
um, I like to double check. I like to look at my, uh, my list here and make sure they sent me everything that I purchased, the right yardage and stuff. So it says I ordered two yards of that. So I'm going to put a check next to that to show, yes, I did get that. Because when you order a huge order of furs like I did, um, and it's, this is a very expensive thing too. So you want to make sure they sent you what they're supposed to send you. And teal arctic hair fox. Okay, so that's the other one I ordered. I ordered teal and they didn't have it. So um, that's why they sent me the ivory instead. So I'm going to go back to that one. The face mask. Yep, they sent me that. I love the face mask. Very cute. I am going to have to shrink it, shrink these loops down though. Still just, that's the only problem. <laughs> Figby. I am Figby. Okay. Uh, baby pink fox. Cool. Alright, so I gave you my guesstimations of what they were, and now I'm going to tell you actually for sure the name of what these furs are. Um, let's see. This is lime green. Of course it is. Yep, lime green luxury shag faux fur. Standard one inch. Just one inch long. Gets the job done. Let's see what this gray one is called. Um... Oh wait, here's Sunshine Yellow. Yep. Luxury Shag Faux Fur. Here's the Sunshine Yellow. It's a very light yellow. Yep, so that's also just one inch. Uh, given the choice, I would almost always choose two inch, but it's fine. Alright, and Periwinkle. I was just saying how I love the Periwinkle. It's, and I ordered two yards of that. Cool. So you can kind of tell if they sent you two yards or what, depending on how big and bulky and heavy it is. Here's the periwinkle. And that is also just one, one inch thick, or length. My swatches. Here's my swatches they sent me. One, two, three, four. And those are the brown bear, black, white, and silver samoyed. Oh, I forgot how to say it. Samoyed? Sam samoyed. Wait, is that it? Samoyed? Is that how I said? Anyways, here's my swatches, which are immediately going to go up into my swatch box right there. Right there. Um, while I'm at it, I'm going to show you guys what I do with my swatches. So, here's my swatches. Whenever I get new swatches, oh, whoops. See how easily that came off? Um, the trouble is... That will happen, and I, I have, like, I have, like, a few hundreds of swatches. I'm not even kidding. I've been collecting fur swatches for years. So, if these, if these stickers come off, um, I'll be screwed. I'll, I'll not know what to do. So, what I do is, first, label it. What place did I get this from? Pursuit Supplies. So, I'll write FSS on it. FSS. There we go. And then... I'll glue it. I'll hot glue it to this swatch. Otherwise, I'll lose it. Uh. Okay. Oh, you're so sweet, Yodi. You don't have to do that. But thank you. Um, thanks for hanging out with us today. Bye. We're basically done anyways. We're just, we're just kind of hanging out now. The educational part is over. <laughs> Unless you're interested in how I, I store my stuff. So thanks for hanging out. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna write FSS on here, Fursuit Supplies. Big Z Fabric, I put BZF. And Psy Fabrics, I just write SY for Psy. And I actually haven't ordered any first from Howell Fabrics before, but I would probably just write H or Howell, depending on if there's enough space. Okay, bye Yodi. And hello, Macy! We got, we got a revolving door of friends here. Alright, FSS. And one more for suit supplies. Sweet. Alright. So whenever I get a commission, or if I feel like making a new uh, pre-made, whenever I need to do that, the first thing I do, I get out my big boy, my swatch box. 
and I, I, I sort out all my swatches, I'll find out which one is the closest I can possibly find to uh, what I'm looking for. So having all of these swatches and having them all labeled where I got them, what they are, like, this is white. Obviously this is white. But white what? Is it Flocati? Is it 2 inch? Is it Fox? So having it completely labeled is super important. So if they, if they didn't label it on the back, label it yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's finish looking here. So here's our electric purple. Definitely two yards of this here. Nice and big electric purple. Yep, yep. Here's our pretty gray. Gray goes with everything. I love gray. One day I want to have a gray cat. I think a gray cat would be nice. Um, yep, that's literally just gray luxury shag fur. So that was one inch. Um, so look at that. Just these colors here together. Periwinkle, sunshine yellow, and gray. Beautiful. Oh, you can make a whole fursuit just on that. It's so pretty. Here's the electric uh, purple. Like... It's just incredible how these colors match so well because they're all pretty. I just really love it. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't that great? I love the colors. <laughs> Homework and Figby stream. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. I swear. You don't have to watch Figby stream. Oh, if you don't want to. Ugh, sorry, I gotta pick up all these ones that I dropped. <laughs> So a lot of these furs, when I was going through them initially, I guessed that they were two inch luxury shag fur, but actually most of them are just uh, fox, fox fur. Not luxury fox, but just regular fox. And fox happens to be two inch, so um, this is two inch pink, baby pink. No, <laughs> not two, oh, okay. This is baby pink fox, so it happens to be two inch, yes, but it's not luxury shag, it's fox. The difference being uh, the texture. So this is a one inch regular fur, and this is fox right here. Fox tends to be a bit more, le less poofy. It's, it's less poofy, it's more stringy, more like hair. And luxury shag is just very poofy and soft. Very, they're, they're, they're different depending on what you're looking for. Oh, thank you, Macy. <laughs> you're so sweet. I'm glad you like watching Le Figby stream. <laughs> oh, hey, Scotch. Yeah, my phone doesn't do that either. Sometimes when I'm in a Walmart that's so big, I literally lose service. <laughs> like, <laughs> when Walmart is so big, you can't even get service. All right, so... Ivory Luxury Fox. So I mentioned this earlier. This is definitely Luxury Fox. No question about it. Um, let's see. Here's the peach. Two inch. Oh, here's, this is perfect. Okay. I'm going to show you the difference between. <sighs> so, first of all, this is baby pink. And this one is peach. So you can see the difference in colors immediately. But what I'm going to show you is the difference in what they are. So this is, um, <laughs> I'm going to make sure I don't mess it up. Okay, the peach is luxury shag, two inch. So this is just regular two inch luxury shag fur. That's what it looks like. That's the texture. It's kind of long and skinny little uh, strands here. And... This is, make sure, okay, looking for it, baby pink, baby pink fox. So the baby pink fox has a different texture. It's very similar. Um, I'd say that the fox, or the two inch is a bit more clumpy. The fox is really pretty. If you have to choose between two inch uh, luxury shag and fox, I would choose fox. It looks I think it's just slightly, slightly higher quality, but it's really hard to tell. Um, just from the picture, 
picture in the camera, you should be able to kind of see the difference in the, in the way it looks. This one just lays a bit flatter, unless you're looking for more of that, uh, that bushy, poofy look, then this is the, this is the way to go, the two inch regular luxury shag. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of really hard to explain. Uh, it's, it's more of something you just got to look in person and feel in person to decide what you really want for your project. But if it doesn't matter to you too much, the exact texture, basically any of these furs are very nice and they'll all work for what you need. <laughs> but if you're very, very particular, order some swatches first. Make sure it's, uh, make sure it's the thing you would like before you order a whole ton of yards because these are very expensive. <laughs> Bad, you're so sweet. <laughs> Figby's stream time is like... I don't know. I don't know what I would call it. Me struggling to survive time. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. What? I don't see this one on the list. Why you do this? Oh, yes! Electric blue. So one yard. This is just regular luxury shag electric blue. Very soft. And, yeah, here's the two inch. Or is it a fox? See, I can't tell. Okay, so this is the two inch luxury shag. It's so similar. The, the two inch luxury shag and the regular fox is so similar that you can barely tell the difference. I would choose fox if you have the choice because it's slightly better in my opinion. But honestly, they're both so similar. It's just unbelievable. How would you ever even know? They look the same. <laughs> <laughs> You're struggling to exist time is all the time. Um, how long am I going to stream? I'm not sure. Uh, I was going to do some... Basically, I'm not sure. <laughs> Just until I run out of energy. So, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Alright, so this is the highlighter... Highlighter yellow that's UV reactive. I do have a black light, so maybe we should get out our black light one day and just play around with it. It's not the biggest black light, but it it's pretty I mean it's kind of long. It's like this long. When I stand it up, it's as tall as me, so it must be five feet long. So I guess it's a pretty big black light, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, this is really, really cool in the dark. Like in the if you take this to, like, a furry rave or something with the, the black lights, it is so cool. I've seen pictures of people with their, uh, neon furs, and it's just so cool. So, yeah, that's called Highlighter Yellow. Here, again, is our Luxury Fox, uh, Ivory. And here we go. I think on, on uh, mm, I think Big Z Fabric, the fabric also calls this midnight but it's just navy blue <laughs> i don't know the different different fur places try to name it different stuff it makes it really confusing it's but sometimes they're sa the same fur and sometimes they're not it's so confusing so if you if you're not sure order swatches that's why i have so many swatches <laughs> so this is navy blue luxury shag two inch so you can see the difference here uh, wow, that is very pretty. Like, just, it has just the right amount of shine, too. That is very, very pretty. Oh, I remember what I was going to use this for. I'm going to mix this with, um, an amber color. Kind of, kind of like this. I'm going to make, like, a tribal, uh, tribal character. Very cool. I can't wait. But, uh, that's all on hold until my, uh, commissions are done. So for now... For now, I just have ideas. Ideas and sketches, but we'll, we'll get to making some other stuff later when uh, my commissions are done, because obviously those are top priority. <laughs> some people, I stream at 6 p.m. every day. Other people, I stream for three hours every day. <laughs> uh -uh. Me, stream is stream. I stream when I stream, stream. <laughs> <laughs> all right I, I definitely know i said that wrong but i got the spirit of it um basically <laughs> i try to have a set schedule but honestly i can't stick to it to save my life 
because it's like, I feel like doing this today. Like, I feel like planting flowers. I'm not going to stream yet. And I just, I cannot stick to a set schedule. And it's pretty impressive to me how other people can. I don't get it. it. Even just length, like some people do it for a specific length. I just go until I get tired. All right, this is the last one I was going to tell you the name of. Uh, unless it's not on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Electric Purple Luxury Shack. So this is just one inch Luxury Shack Electric Purple. Yeet. Great. Now I'm going to have to buy more bins. I got to do something with this massive pile of fur. <sighs> it's that's a big that's a big pile of fur. <sighs> Literally burying myself alive. <laughs> You're doing great and then just stop for two entire weeks without saying anything. I feel that. <laughs> I really do. Honestly, I do that all the time on accident. I feel like, I mean, people, people know that streamers are, are people. We struggle with just keeping up with regular life anyways. At least that's what I think. I, I, I hope people realize that, that we struggle with schedules as much as everybody else, because, I don't know, it's, I saw that you were streaming and I totally missed it and I'm sad. I miss everything. Anyways, um... Uh, hang on. Okay. I'm not... My arms aren't long enough to plug in some stuff into my outlet. It's just so far away. So here's my, uh, my swatches. Very important that you not only label it where you got it from, but you hot glue it. Because these stickers come off in like two seconds. And you'll just have a box full of swatches and random stickers and you won't be able to match them up. So, always, always, always hot glue them. Sometimes, sometimes companies put staples on them, and I think that's really weird. I take those off, because me, when I'm digging through my swatches, I've gotten, like, cut through staples before. Not fun. So, I take the staples off, and, uh, glue. Yeah. It was a happy birthday stream to a game you love. Oh, cool! Aww. What game was it? I didn't even get to see what game it was. I don't even know. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm choking on fur a little bit. Uh. Um. Hold. <laughs> hold up. Just a moment here. Uh. Sorry, I gotta write this down before I forget. Cool. Good. Oh, Mountain Blade 2. Bannerlord. I feel like I played that ages ago. Once. I feel like I played it for like maybe three hours. Oh. Aw, you're so sweet, Yodi. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was pretty fun, but... <laughs> I mean, maybe we could play it together if you want. Uh, I haven't, I haven't touched it since that one beginning. I don't know. It's it's a very, very competitive style, and that's the kind of game I try to avoid. Except somehow I got into Overwatch and uh, Splatoon, so it's possible that I could get into games like that. It's just hard. But I think I think if we're playing together, maybe I can get into it and enjoy it. And apparently we're all starting to play Minecraft together now soon, so that's going to be fun. Alright, still waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I, when I played through... When I was playing a little bit of Mountain Blade, I remember I really liked it so far. I just stopped because I was playing other stuff, too. You love Minecraft, haven't played in a while. Yeah, I feel that. It's a very good game. I played with Rudder once, and we had a lot of fun, but... Uh, somebody in the server, in the Discord server, said they had a Minecraft server up and running, and that's my main thing, why I was being, uh, slow to get the Minecraft 
Minecraft going for all of us. And it's just because I didn't want to deal with figuring out the server again, because it's been so long since I set up a server. But since somebody else did it, heck yeah, we should play Minecraft together. Alright, so after I get new furs, most of the time I do not have a swatch for them. And if I do, um, oh well, I'll have two swatches. Um, I tend to like to make my own swatches, so... Here's the direction of the fur coming down towards me this way. So I'll choose the very, very bottom corner of the fur. And longer scissors is better for this because otherwise if you get the little scissors, you'll be snipping for hours all the way down. Anyways, um, this edge, the edging right here, um, that's a good place to cut off for a swatch because you can't use it on a fursuit, but the other side looks fine. You just can't use it on a fursuit, so that's that's the area I like to cut off for swatches if I need to make a swatch. So even if you bought a swatch from the store, or if the uh, whatever store you bought your furs from, look at the size of this. And look at the size of the swatches I like to make. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I like to make my own swatches because when you're trying to mix and match colors, Having this tiny little swatch sometimes is very, very hard trying to do that. And having a bigger swatch, sometimes I that's just what I need is a bigger swatch. So unless I know I already made my own personal swatch, I will always make my own swatch from every fur I get brand new. Um, that way later, if I need to know where this fur came from, what it is, or if I just want to use it to mix and match colors, I'll have it. Much better than not sure. I don't know. I'd just rather have two than zero on accident of a specific swatch. I guess that's just me. Yeah, Minecraft! Really? Old Mountain Blade is dominantly single player. Really? Interesting. I didn't know that. Maybe I'm talking- no, I was, hmm, I was pretty sure it was that game. It might have been a different game. Huh. You know, after- after the stream, I'll look into it on my, uh, on my Steam. Because I'm kind of curious what I'm thinking about now. Because it might not be that, but it might be that. Mountain Blade. Pretty sure that's what it was, though. I'm just easily confused. Minecraft is very good. Alright, and I did say this before, when I was cutting swatches, uh, if you cut out pieces, cut it from the bottom, not from the top, because then when you go to fold your fur, you're gonna be missing chunks of the fur, and it's gonna be really hard to grab and fold, so. Now I'm gonna be able to fold this easily, because the part I need to grab is not missing. There we go. So the chunk that's missing is at the bottom of the yard down here, not at the top that I use using it to fold it with. So that's the difference here. <laughs> All right, much easier to explain with a single yard. So the way I like to pick these up by the top, I don't know who would pick this up upside down like with, like that's kind of weird, but I like to pick it up at the top where the fur is going down this way. So you don't want to cut out your swatch at the top here because you'll have nothing to grab onto when you fold it up later. So, uh, at the very bottom corner, that's where I take the swatch. <laughs> yes! I'm always so confused. I wish I could remember. I'm sure- <laughs> Oh, maybe it was chivalry or something like that. Maybe it was- maybe it was chivalry. I remember I played that one for a little while, too. I might just be getting all their names confused. <laughs> oh, boy. There's so many, like, uh... I mean, at the time, there was a lot of very similar names like that. All right. So here we go. Got a nice little gray swatch. <sighs> I'm gonna yeet this out of the way. <sighs> Two yards I can deal with, but when you get three yards, my gosh, it is so hard to deal with. It's just, 
it's big, it's bulky, it's heavy, you can't even fold it, it's just three yards of faux fur is uh, highly obnoxious to me. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why I'm getting easily confused, is because they're both medieval. So it's like, which one am I thinking? And it might not either even be either of those, it could be something totally different. So because of the price of faux fur, faux fur is pretty expensive, you know, but, um, like 20 to $30 per yard. And in case you were wondering, uh, I'll, ho I'll hold it up for you so you can see how much a yard is. Ah, I'm falling. <laughs> okay. That's okay, guys. I was just done. I'm good. So, uh, let me hold this up. Okay, this is one yard. This is it. It's folded in- when you get a yard like this, um, uh, most fabrics, one yard is folded in half. So it's, uh, it's a bit longer if you open it up. It's kind of like double, almost, because it's folded. But, uh, yeah. But that's it. That's one yard. And because you can't move the patterns around, like, when you cut out stuff, it has to be a specific direction which way you trace the pattern. You can't just do it like cotton where you, you move your pattern to save the most fabric as possible because faux fur, you, when you cut it, it needs to be cutting in the direction of the fur. So more than any other fabric, cutting out um, patterns out of a fabric that has a specific direction, you're going to waste a lot of fur. So I think if you had a completely white fursuit, I think it would take three or four. Wow! Hi there! I think it would take three or four yards total. <laughs> wow! Hi! Thanks! We got a party now! Oh! <laughs> wow! Thank you! <laughs> wow! See, what would be ideal is if I could read you one time. The problem is, it's your stream is it's at a different time than mine. I'm going to purposely go out of my way to raid you next time. You'll see. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. We're just talking about fur. <laughs> oh, look at all these emotes. I'm so happy. Wow. I like the frog one. <laughs> is that slippy or is it just frog? Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, bring the Figby face in here. We need some Figbies. <laughs> All right, I don't need a swatch of this guy. I've got lots of lime green. <laughs> I'm just going to eat that over the... Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys are all super good at hype. Like, you guys... <laughs> I'm feeling the hype. <laughs> wow, really? Thank you. I I I hope it's I hope I'm somewhat entertaining. I I don't know. I like what I do, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bring the hype. <laughs> oh, look at this pretty fur. It's like it's like garnet. Like it's very pretty red. I don't even know what else I would call this. Just like, it looks like a gem. Very, very pretty. So, let's get a swatch of this. The only thing is, just the backside is just so rough and weird. <laughs> when his streams get lit, he breaks out the crazy hats and wigs. And I think the final evolution would be a fur head. <laughs> Final evolution. I can see that. It's just boom! And in a puff of smoke, it happens. This kind of looks like a, like a rug. Like, the, the bottom of this kind of looks like a rug. Alright, so I'm kind of scared to cut into this one, because I actually haven't before. So, we'll, we're going to see if it sheds all over the place. Let's see how this goes. Ugh. 
Yes, smoke machines. <laughs> Turk dude. Turk loves to get fancy. <laughs> okay, if you evolved in a puff of smoke, what color of smoke would it be? This is the important questions of life that we ask here. Oh, sure. At least what I have out. A lot of my stuff is kind of put away at the moment, but sure. That works very well. Okay. Yeet. Just yeeted everything across the world. <laughs> so we've got this one in progress. Whoa. Do a mixture? Yes, do it. Yes. You evolve in teal and pink smoke. Poof. Does it smell like cotton candy? <laughs> so here's here's a head I've been working on. Um, half of it has a pattern on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to trace whatever colors we need and cut it off. And we'll be able to trace that onto furs like this so that we can get the furs on there. <laughs> Where's the best place to temporarily put this? <laughs> so very fun. A lot of my stuff is packed away. I don't really have that much out. I have a head work in progress back here. Uh... <laughs> yeah. That's really... Oh, I could show uh, Indigo's tail. That one's, that one's pretty interesting. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, wow. I forgot I cut out a lot of spikes. The other day I cut out a ton of uh, tail spikes for this. So, wee! That's fun. Here's a big boy tail. So this is a floor dragger tail. It's huge. Literally drags on the floor, and it's for somebody much taller than me, so... Um, it just goes. It just, it just goes. Keeps going. And at the end here, we have a big fluffy, big tail. Because this is a dragon tail, so it's got a big... That's what these feathers are for. Gonna make a big fluffy uh, pattern there. Very cool. <laughs> if you put that as a bit gold, dang. I never thought of that. I didn't even realize that was a thing I could do. <laughs> I forget, I forget things I can do. I should add that to my list of things I should try on Twitch. <laughs> Surprise them with the tail, don't even tell her about it. <laughs> Just suddenly, there it is. <laughs> Here's Macy trying to do homework, yet at the same time, not able to. So yeah, these, these kind of connect, these feathers are going to connect in a very particular uh, way. However, I'm still missing one of the colors that I'm waiting in the mail for another uh, minky fabric. So, unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with this for now. We gotta, gotta give it another few days until the mail comes. <laughs> Turk may need to commission ahead. <laughs> I bet it would be the coolest thing ever, just saying. Like, I bet that design would be very fun to do. <laughs> Is sneakily eating a cookie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Is there any other way to eat a cookie? <laughs> well, I don't really know how long I've been going for because uh, the stream kind of died halfway. So... <laughs> Me too! I would like to see the amazing Turk design. Turk would come up with something cool. <laughs> Me reading that is a dollar twenty-eight. <laughs> All right, so I think this is actually heated up. I'm actually just gonna rip this off. This label. And she's gonna put some glue on the back, and voila, slap it back on. 
I wish the stickers would just stick better, but, oh, uh, yeah, here we are. That'll do it. Now I will never lose it, ever. And I'll know what this is. <laughs> yes! You have been streaming for $1.28. I knew it! <laughs> no stream dies when Turk is here. Dun -da -da -da. Dang. I feel like that is a superhero I need. <laughs> I need that- I need that power. Or- or we just need Turk to immediately just be there for every stream that's trying to die. Like, that would be good. <laughs> Wowie. Yup, now I'm just gonna- I'm just gluing the, uh, the labels to the back. Fun! So fun. So entertaining. I swear. And then, for these ones that I just cut out myself, I'm gonna have to make my own labels. Whoa! Yo! A tail would be so fun! Would it be that one character, uh, Link, would you choose that one character that you, you have designed, or would it be something totally different? <laughs> the Hype Lord of Twitch. <laughs> you guys are really good at bringing the hype, though, seriously. Y'all come into chat, and I'm like, ah, oh, yes, the hype, it, it has come. <laughs> yeah, that would be so cool. Wait, what kind of tail? Is it like a curly tail, or is it a, would it be like a, a regular wolf tail? I haven't seen your reference in a long time. Because there is a curly tail pattern that I've been wanting to try out. Taste for... There's fur in my mouth. <laughs> Rent <Rinse> it, Zerk! <laughs> we'll guarantee hype. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good service right there. I can't deny that. Yeah, right? <laughs> fur in my mouth is an actual constant struggle. I deal with it daily. <laughs> it's a long tail. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, that's fine. I needed to, I needed to try out this new pattern that's a curly tail, so I figured I would ask. Oh yeah, yeah, tiger. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at your reference after, cause I'm really I don't remember it that well. I just remember the basic colors, but I like your character. I remember liking it. <laughs> when I wear wigs, I know this pain. Turk has no real hair, <laughs> but wigs are just. Just, just get a whole ton of, like, swatches and just, like, see how I look with red hair. Let's, let's try, let's try, let's try, like, this dark. Yeah, yeah, I got a toupee now. I look good. <laughs> That's fine, guys. You don't need hair if you have fursuit head. <laughs> Fursuit heads are- they'll replace it. Wow. I kind of did everything I was gonna do on this stream. Now I'm just here. <laughs> Existing. Here's my big bag of, uh, sticky notes and labels. Oh, time for Sonic. Everybody super Sonic racing. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. I don't exist that often, you know? Just sometimes. It's a very rare occurrence. <laughs> what day? Aren't you streaming tomorrow, Skelefro? Um, I try to remember who streams when, but, you know, it's, it's not easy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Super Sonic Racing! Yeah, I actually really like the Sonic Racing games. I think they're actually, for the most part, pretty good. Pretty good games. <laughs> the only stream mandatory for you to remember is your own. Yeah, see here? That's the problem. I forget my own all the time. <laughs> it's an actual problem. I don't know how this happens, but I do struggle to live a lot. Like, 
I'm just like, man, what day is it? And it's like, hey, Clover, you're still asleep, but did you know you're supposed to stream three hours ago? And I was... <laughs> Me. Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still here, yeah? You know, I guess that's true. I'm just looking at colors. I have so many of these. Seriously. I can label whatever I want. I love labeling. <laughs> Very helpful, because right now I've got so many boxes, and I, I just don't know what's in each box, so I just slap a label on there, and then I get to make a happy face, because I know what they are. Anything that's disorganized makes me not happy face. Oh! Okay. I will make you a tail. It will be so fun. Oh my gosh. I would have so much fun just making you a tail just for- just- just cuz. I really- cause I just- I just want Link to have a tail. I don't even care. I would just want you to have it. Oh, you stream today, but you wanted to finish an emote before you do. I didn't know you streamed today, Sparky. I my notifications are still messed up. I keep changing them, and I think I'm messing. I think I'm fixing it, and I think it just messed it up worse. <laughs> Indeed, you know I'm so excited to do any project ever. Cause Turk with a, a head would be fun. You'd be too powerful. <laughs> Turk would be so powerful. Well, wow, that would be so, so sick. It'd be so fun. You get friend discount. <laughs> Do it. That would be cool. <laughs> Bad, you're so lucky. Your notifications just fix themselves. Oh, yeah. thank you, Sparky. You're so sweet. Wow, I need to look. I need to look that up. Like time conversions. Time conversions kind of mess me up, but I think yes. Yes, is now where I am. Yeah, it is. So, oops. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I just gotta make a big like a big list of when all my friends are streaming, cause I miss. I'll miss it if I don't have it written physically, like on a sheet of paper in front of me. That's so cool. Turktopia would take over the world with that swag. Oh, you guys. Y'all making me cry. <laughs> I'm not that good. I just, I, I'm not good at all, actually. I just, <laughs> thank you. You guys are so sweet. I, I, uh, <laughs> cry, I dare you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. That's so cute. Thank you. I don't have anything else to say anymore either. I think I'm just going to end the stream here cuz I'm done for today. So, uh, at least I think I am. <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, you guys. You guys are so funny. <laughs> I swear. You guys, you guys are the sweet ones. I don't, I don't, uh. All right, my friends. Well, I'm going to get going. And I hope you guys, <laughs> I thought that said you absorb hype. Link is absorbing the hype. I hope you guys have a really good day. And thank you for hanging out with me. You guys have made me very happy. I, I was having kind of a, a interesting day. So I'm really happy you guys made me happy. I'm happy that you made me happy, so thank you. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> Y'all. Alright. Oh, you guys are nice. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll DM you about that in like two seconds. Okay.